First of all, how is your, um, I'm looking at a big boot on your foot, how's that going, yeah. how's your recovery going, what's the situation? It's going well, yeah, recovery's going good, I'm two weeks now after the operation and um, I'll be looking to get another five weeks under my belt before I can start running and hopefully start playing the weekend of the Queen's game. And do you, it, it, what do you do here, can you swim, what sort of exercise can you do or can you do anything? Yeah, it's only just this week now where I've started to be able to sweat properly just so my wounds would have healed but um, I can go on the bike and lots of boxing and um, swimming which I'm not the best at but uh, yeah, just lots of upper body weight so it's good. And is there, I mean, are you targeting the Queen's game or do you hopefully get something in before that? What's the, in, Best, yeah, best case scenario, nothing are never definite. Yeah, realistically, the Quinns game would be my target, and to come back before that would be highly unlikely. So, um, um, yeah, I'd just be looking at the Quinns. That's the that's the goal now for the next couple of weeks is to uh, keep the fitness up and uh, keep sharp and um, hit the ground running. Hopefully, the week of the Quinns game. Just tell us very briefly. I mean, it seemed totally. It seemed it was. It happened in no counter or. Mm. Nothing. It was just it was just one of the freaky things that you I know you chased the ball and then yeah. you just felt this, you felt the pain and felt the sting. Yeah, yeah. I literally just went up to catch a high ball and as soon as I landed, I just heard a pop. So I kind of I was kind of thought nothing of it and then I tried to push off it and tried to run when a ball was hacked down the pitch and I was running slower than Mike Rossi, I'd say. So it was ridiculous. Yeah, I was pretty sore, but um, I'm glad now that I'm two weeks into rehab and. Uh, Looking forward to getting back on the pitch. Frustrating, I'm sure it is. Yeah, frustrating. Also, maybe last weekend to watch two games that would have been massively disappointing for you for the Irish game and and, and if you if you watch the the uh, Munster game for Treviso, what's it like to be sitting there and watching that, watching your teammates play and maybe not performing the way you they would expect or you would expect them to play? Yeah, it's 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 very frustrating. It's um, it's uh, you just want to be out there trying to contribute and I suppose you can be. It's easy to be a critic when you're sitting home watching a TV, like you're not out there um, actually putting in the effort. So uh, it's it's definitely frustrating. You want to always run out with your teammates and put on a put in a good uh, put in a good performance. But unfortunately, we've had two bad results with Ireland and Munster now. So big game so in in Munster terms, Simon. Big game now this weekend because it's it's home and at least it be on the road twice. But now they're at home and it's Ospreys were a sight ahead. So a massive game, but then an opportunity for them maybe to to set the record right somewhat. Yeah, absolutely, definitely. It's going to be a huge game. It's a game we can't afford to lose, or else our playoffs hopes will probably slip away from us. And um, there's uh, going to be a lot of emphasis just put on uh, getting the result, and uh, we just have to go out and do it no matter what. And uh, I suppose we we owe the Ospreys boys one um, after losing to them a lot over the last couple of years. So um, yeah, it's something the boys will be looking forward to, no doubt. And, um, and will you be? Hobbling down there, which, uh, I'll be hobbling up the steps of Tom and Park yet yeah, to sit down and have a look and hopefully uh, see a few scores running.